Who is Rumi? He's one of the most widely read poets in the US, but some are critical of the translations of his poetry and the way he's portrayed in the West, especially how he's generally stripped of his Muslim identity. And it was a London theatre show that recently said it aims to portray Rumi authentically and separate itself from Western stereotypes. Now, many of us have heard about Rumi. You might have come across his aphorisms on your social media feed. Perhaps on your Instagram, you saw a quote from him and a nice sunset background. But who is the man behind the name? Rumi's name is Arabic and it literally means Roman. He got this name because he spent much of his life in the Rum Saltuk Sultanate in Anatolia. He's also referred to as Mevlana. Rumi was born in present-day Afghanistan in 1207, and up until the age of 37, he was a traditional Islamic scholar. But his life changed after he met the wandering dervish Shams Tabriz. Shams soon became a devotee and close friend of Rumi, and many see this meeting as the catalyst that transformed Rumi from a scholar to a mystic. After losing his close friend, Rumi wrote his best known work, the Masnavi, which consists of around 25,000 verses. It's an epic poem on man's predicament in his search for God and has been translated into more than 20 languages. It's also considered one of the most influential works in Sufism, which is an aspect of Islam where Muslims search for the truth of divine love and knowledge by way of a direct personal experience of God. Rumi's poetry is intense, spiritual, and full of passion, and it speaks right to the heart with messages of tolerance, peace, and compassion. For example, a famous passage in the Masnavi reads, Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshipper, lover of leaving, it doesn't matter. Ours is not a caravan of despair. Come, even if you have broken your vow a hundred times, come, Come again, come. Now, let's get to the whirling dervishes. Their dance can be traced back to Rumi and his teachings. They practice whirling as a form of dhikr or the remembrance of God. It's understood that through this movement, the dervishes can leave their personal desires and egos behind and get closer to God. What they wear is also meaningful. Their tall hats represent the tombstone of the body and their white robes with skirts represent the shrouds of their ego. Despite having died more than 700 years ago, Rumi's messages of love and hope have influenced millions to this day. The Mevlana Museum in Konya drew nearly three and a half million tourists in 2019, becoming one of the most visited museums in Turkey. Rumi's poems continue to top bestseller lists in the US. They have made it to the US Billboard's top 20 list and have also been read by Hollywood celebrities. Oh, sweet bitterness. I will soothe you and heal you. I will bring you roses. I too have been covered with thorns. Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi died on December 17, 1273. The anniversary of his death is also called Shabi Arus, meaning the night of reunion with God. The 13th century poet, scholar, and mystic continues to inspire many, and perhaps his messages would be understood with more clarity if people see him for who he really is.